OWCS Korea entered the group stage last weekend and brought forth the age of replay codes. No longer will we have to scrounge around like rodents looking for crumbs in the New York subway. We have an entire document of codes for every map from the group stage and onwards. We get all access viewing of the best and worst plays in the esport. So I've hand selected a few of my favorites from week one of OWCS Korea. I was sound asleep when this play happened, but I woke up in a cold sweat because I felt a disturbance in the universe. My arch nemesis dong hack just hit a genius play. Everything seems standard. Bliss beats and Faith wants to match because he feels nice and safe on the high ground. He thinks he could probably survive the whole zombie apocalypse up there. Surely nobody can touch him. However, Dong Hat comes through with the one two punch from downtown, looking like Little Mac versus Glass Joe. And you can see the exact moment where Dong Hack reaches into Faith's soul and lines him up for the nastiest beat cancel of all time. On the flip side, here's Kalios going for one of the worst recontest attempts I have ever seen. This is like when your tank dies and Bro has the audacity to go, Where my team at? My brother in Christ, you died so early in the last fight that everyone else is just showing up now. Bro has straight up paramecium vision. His primal instincts say walk on to the point. So he sits his ass down and listens. The best part is when he turns around for a second and realized he fucked up. He knows he is not supposed to be in this part of town. But now I'd like us all to gather in a circle and hold hands as we pray for Choi Sewan. He was mercilessly beat down and spawn camped twice in a row by whack on Esperanza. First, Junbin came swinging through like Bonchon Chicken asked him to pull up for the alumni baseball get together. And even though he has 800 HP, he still paid off the map geography to make sure he secured this kill. Just underhanded, dastardly tactics. Then he sang spotty senses are tingling and he has the conviction to ruin Choi's day altogether. He and Chorong link up and don't give Choi a chance to fight back. The first time, whatever, I get it, it happens. The second time though, nah. I don't know how Choi had the strength to not walk across the stage and throw hands. However, we must ask what was going on with the rest of Genesis that not just the tank, but also two other individuals can take a detour on the team fight and wander into spawn. Does Kellen know that he served his sentence on New York? Is he aware he's a free man for now until he commits another felony? The next series of events could not be made up by even Infinite Monkey Theorem. Only a team featuring Lee J Gon could make things happen like this. So first, Fee J Gon leisurely skips across the point, thinking his movement is far too slick for Proper or Stalker to kill him. But spoiler alert, he's not that guy. Luckily, he's bailed out by his team. But upon returning, he's greeted by a funny package on his doorstep delivered by Proper. But not all is lost. Maybe he can clutch up an OT and... Oh, On been killed for with a diva bomb in 2024. How? It turns out that three independent simultaneous trolling events took place. Mag thinks that Doom Block makes him invincible. Vigilante decides to take one last look at the bomb. And Prophet straight up did not care. Just complete tragedy all around. Luckily, Chio and Violet are able to provide good Lucio gameplay. By booping back Lee Jae Gon here, Chio denied beat on the Prophet and caused Lee Jae Gon's existential crisis that may have brought about the previous clip. And it's not like he intended for it to play out like this, but when you're this good, luck and skill are one and the same. For the Violet clips, you got him swooping in, robbing Hyunjae for all he has. Bro was not expecting the GOAT to run his pockets like that. He simply forgot who he was dealing with. As a bonus in the same breath, we have Bernard stealing AIDS lunch money off the side of the map. Where is bro going? There is nothing over there for him. Although I don't know what the game plan is here. And to be honest, I don't think Violet did either. Only God knows his true purpose. Is he trying to bait for his team? Did he get paid to troll this point? I've watched this clip for the past 20 minutes and I still cannot decipher his goals in any way. But forget about all that for now and watch Mag hit the fattest Doom combo since Brandito was uploading montages. First, he goes in with a punch, a genius gambit. Second, he goes in with another punch and Ajax is the best Lucio player in the world. Third, and you're never gonna see this one coming, he hits another punch, simply outstanding gameplay. Zebra saw this and his jaw hit the floor. Get Quake Dawn was shivering in his boots. And then just to end off the fight, Zest chips in with the backhand to make it look like he really did something. But nah bruh, 
that was all mag. The group project is individually graded. And that wasn't even the beginning. On King's Row, he hit this punch so hard, they got knocked out by the lamp post. How are you gonna get tag teamed by a lamp, man? Proper was in the air and he still got shot down. Anyway, that's all I got for now. I definitely missed a lot, but next week I'll be more attentive. And feel free to message in my Discord or even at me on Twitter about any cool or terrible plays from the weekend. Be sure to subscribe and like the video. Have yourself a good one. Deuces.